Jamie, Bell we were talking in the first half about gambling. Are you, do you gamble? I fucking I invest. <laughs> <laughs> Badly. <laughs> <laughs> I invest in the 205 attempt. So I'm horse racing in my house is on a power of footy. So when I was eight, my dad sits me down and goes, right, I'm going to teach you how to learn horse racing form now. Because you can't just pick names. You've got a study yeah. like a one not, next to its name. Yeah, you're not someone's girlfriend yeah, on the wins it, win, Grand National. Men, it won last time out, but you've got to look at what it's beat, what they beat. And it's like, it's quite lateral. It was like solving a puzzle. So my dad got me inside and going like, you can put your spends on it and, you know, try and win some Pokemon cards and that. Yeah. So. <laughs> and then you can borrow money off Win me Pokemon cards. <laughs> All right, love, can I, have a, can I have a Charizard on number three? <laughs> 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 What's that get me back? A Mewtwo. A Pikachu and a Mewtwo. <laughs> Fucking good. Good odds, that. <laughs> but I, I, was in, I was involved in gambling culture from a very early age. Yeah. Like, you know when dad said the lads to the match, like my dad took me to like Bucky's and that and just watched the dogs. And I thought you were going to say to the race. <laughs> just learn. Just learn, bro. Just to <laughs> <Just> learn. <laughs> and it's like Vegas. It's like Jim Ram's bottom Bucky's in Openshaw. Like it's all. <laughs> It's not though, is it? No, but in my head it was like, you know, bright lights and horses and you know That's Vegas. And that <laughs> fucking bright sound. lights and horses. And old, I old blokes on disability. Smoking. I went on to work in that bucket when I was eighteen. My first ever job was in a bucket. And then Not to pay off your debts. Well, 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 when I was twenty one, I got a free grand overdraft. Ooh. Do you know like when you can on online banking you're like, oh five hundred, give us five ton. And then they're like, yeah, sound. And then you like, just kept, and went, you keep fucking giving me money. <laughs> so I got a free grand overdraft. And I thought, right, here's my plan. I'll put it on a horse that will win. Oh, my God. Get seven grand, pay the three grand back, and four grand is my start my gambling career. So what did you do with your four grand? Well, the horse fell, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> you can't account for variables like that. I mean, what you should have done... What you should have done. But that was my crypto. What you should have done is taken six grand. <laughs> and then when that went 12, it works it similar. So, yeah. As so long I, as it's a black horse. I just, I just love the culture of a bookies. So did you not learn at 21, though, that it's ropey? Oh, I thought... I, I, the thing is, unlucky. it is a problem, but it's a solution. You can gamble your way out of trouble. <laughs> Please don't listen to this for this voice. Like, fair play, I'm still in trouble. But you could, you could, I can get out of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's like me going, I can snort my way out of addiction. Well, yeah, I'm high now. But maybe if I keep getting high, yeah, it'll like come full win. circle. That's how cocaine works, isn't it? Uh, I reckon I'll do well. Do you know about like the systems? In, do you like a casino? I love a casino. Mate, so yeah. do you know about the put, keep betting on black thing? Oh, yeah, but that's, that's shit house, isn't it? Yeah, but it is foolproof, isn't it? I don't know, because if you... I've seen it where it's like 13 reds in a row, and if you double each time... You've got to have the backer, haven't you? You've got to have... You Basically, have, you have about 25 mil to win five grand. Yeah, if yeah, you've got yeah. 25 mil, the five grand's guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. 25... People with 25 million in cash, they love fucking around for a five grand, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> I've watched her have a word. This is <laughs> foolproof. <laughs> Unless someone falls... What's the most money you've ever put on a horse? Was it that three grand? Three grand, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's still paying that back. He hasn't actually placed a bet since then. I've not. I just don't open my letters. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, God. mate. After my own you two Jesus. could be Let's dangerous open letters. I used to get payday loans, change my name, address. I'm smoking mirrors, mate. <laughs> my name is so MC Africa Zulu. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's a way around it. You just get loads of credit. Bet it, and if you win, pay him back. Fair enough. But if you don't, yeah. do some watch. Catch me if you can. Do some jiggery yeah. poker, and off you go. Move yeah. to your nana's next door. <laughs> say it. I was going to say Burundi, yeah. <laughs> next door in open shop. <laughs> they will never catch me. Yeah. I'm in my dad Dana's box room now because we got the house. So all my letters go to next door. System beat. <laughs> System beat. And they're not as long as you don't go on the door. internet and talk about it. You're absolutely yeah, fine. No <laughs> one from fucking. What's the most you've ever won? Um, about two grand in one go. But I've had days where I've had like 500 on an arse and accumul accumulatively won. My turnover's been fucking erratic at times. That's part of the fun, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? 
I've had days where I've had like winner after winner, but 500 after 500 after 500. And I had one good bet where I've won like two and a half grand. Yeah. And what did you, two and a half grand, you go, that's a great day. I'll walk away. I went or do to, you go, oh, what if I just put all of this? I went to Malia for two weeks, drank myself stupid and I'd shit in my kidneys and that. No, I'd bloody me shit for my kidneys. So I invested it well. <laughs> I'm glad we got you on, Jamie, you know, before you're in prison or dead. I really feel like we waited a bit too long to get you on because I'm not sure you're uh, going to survive yeah. the end of this episode. He, uh, he came on Paul Smith's stag do to Berlin. Uh, and when <laughs> I say a last minute invite... Paul Smith had a tour <laughs> show in Manchester the, the night before we were flying at 6am from Manchester Airport. He was at Paul Smith's tour show and Paul was like, why don't you come? And he was like, well, I can only come for three of the four days because on the fourth day, I'm in work. And we were like, sound. So he came with us and then missed his flight home. Oh, it was bad. I yeah. went for a pint. <laughs> and I'd, I'd just come out of training in this call centre job. Like it's where they hired actors and out of work, out of work actors and oh, this place in comic. Manchester where they they yeah. sort of they yeah, yeah. they want you to be creative or whatever, and they're very yeah. flexible. <sighs> yeah, uh, fucking actors. Anyway, that's another. We'll come back to that. Yeah. Um. So I'll go for a pint. I'm like fucking. I'm skin. Joe, the investments have gone a bit south. <laughs> I can't afford to go Berlin. Investment. But Paul's sounding right now. I'll pay for you and all that. So which was sound of him, and um went Berlin. So I thought, fucking in work tomorrow. So I got Callum to text me, right? Just say, oh, I'm coming to pick you up, take you to Berlin, you know, for helping me through my dark days. Just making up a story. And I emailed work at one. And you're going to laugh. But the lads are picking me up to go Berlin. And <laughs> I'll be back first. Uh, so, so that. <laughs> Went to Berlin. <laughs> and I'm in um flight homes at 11. Or like 10 o'clock, 11. And we're in somewhere, and like six in the morning, and you come up to me and mate, you're going to have to, you know, go, you, you got to get to the airport in like an hour and a half, and you're fucking steaming. You're going to miss your plane. I'm, I'm not going to fuck, how am I going to miss a fucking plane? So lad? aggressive with me. I was, you know when people get drunk and yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah. They, I, I'm like that. If I'm too drunk and someone tells me what to do, fuck off. <laughs> the fuck do you think? You my dad? No. You think I'll miss a plane? The fucking massive, mate. I'll get the fucking <laughs> plane. Woke up at like half twelve. A text Rick Carey was meant to be fucking coming home with. Like, where are you? And he went over the channel. <laughs> I'm nearly <laughs> home. <laughs> and I had to fucking stay another couple of days. So then I finally got home Friday, I think. I was due back in work Wednesday. I thought, well, Friday's a write off. Saturday, no. Uh, Monday, still a bit rope. And so I went back in Tuesday. <laughs> It took an extra two and I, days. Yeah, I walked in, and the guy, like the manager, went, "Jamie, you was you was due back in at once." So I'm not mad in it, and just <laughs> put, put the headset on. <laughs> I'm like, no actors sacking me, mate. You fucking no chance. <laughs> fuck off. It's method. Fuck off, mate. It's bit. method. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting ready for a roll. Yeah. <laughs> you kept the job. Yeah, yeah. So, I was good at selling, you see. Right, okay. So as long as you're all right at selling. So just in scores. case people have missed it, this was like a job you did when you were getting going in comedy, yeah, yeah, where yeah. they sort of creatives, actors, whatever, they 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 let them just sort of clock yeah, in and yeah, clock yeah. out whenever they want. Sort of, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. But it's like, and you, you were know, working with a lot of actors. Oh, mate, a lot of thespians, Jamie. Tedious cunts, aren't they? Like Day Lewis, he's a cunt. Is he there? <laughs> he's <doing that>. but <laughs> Are you like... refusing to call him by his first name? Yeah. Day Just, Lewis. So like fucking where he says like, oh, I spent six months as Abraham Lincoln. Well, don't. <laughs> Just turn up, eat your marks and read your lines, you knob. <laughs> what are you doing? Six months. Same he, that's thing. what he did. Is that what he said? Yeah, so like his missus gone, what, hey, Dan, what time are we uh, going with my mum's tomorrow? Oh, well, when the moon strikes. <laughs> and like, what? Fuck off. Doing a Freddie Quinn impression. Yeah, like, <laughs> Like Freddy fucking burst. Maybe Freddy's just maybe Freddy's just got Abraham Lincoln coming up at like the Preston Playhouse. And he's like, well, Day Lewis, he did six months. I'm gonna do twelve fucking gears, mate. Day Lewis, like he oh. was mate. Oh, yeah. uh, he but, did win an Oscar for that role though, didn't he? Yeah, but it's undeserved. I think he's won a few, hasn't he? They're just not he's Bill, the record. Bill, Bill the he did Bill the Butcher in Gangs of New York. And he spent so long getting in character for that. That's what I mean. But he's like, he, 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 sk- he, like, he, he worked he, in Builder Bear for six months for he that. He worked in Build. 
It's like I just need to build something. It'll get me in the frame of I mind. I just don't think you can do it. I just don't respect them. <laughs> at all. Have you got a favourite actor? <coughs> don't like, I like Stacey, who was in EastEnders. She was all right. <laughs> Further than that. Do you know how Other long, she, do you know how long I was, she, she researched that role for? <laughs> She's good. She had a few good storylines. Further than that, they can all fuck off. I, I swear to God, right, because some of them, because you get a lot of drama students in there, just like first job, moved to Manchester, just past drama. And I was in between this absolute, your proper thespian type. And this girl, she's like, oh, I've got my first audition. Oh, dead excited and that. I didn't want to take that away from her. So she was at, and she went, oh, do you have any advice? Well, I'm not a fucking actor. Ask him. <laughs> so you overheard the advice? Yeah, yeah. So I'm in the middle of them, them two having a conversation. Oh, I'd absolutely and I'm just pay to see miserable. them. And she's got this audition. <laughs> And he's like, well, the important thing to remember is don't act, just be. Think of the character's past. Think of the character's future. What are the objectives of the character? And she's like, oh, I'm like, no. It, she's like <laughs> awe stricken by this fucking words of wisdom. She's like, oh, have you got anything coming up? And he went, well, I'm, I'm actually uh, doing... <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually doing panto on the crocodile at Blackburn Empire. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going on like his child's dance. <laughs> the crocodile's passed. Oh, mate, he's a fucking rancid twat. <laughs> <laughs> the Blackburn Empire! <laughs> Don't act, just be. <laughs> Where are you? I'm going to be the fucking wardrobe in the lion, the witch in the wardrobe. <laughs> But jo- that's what I mean, though. What a shit, pal. That is- <laughs> All right, lad. Get in me. I was, I was a fucking... Get in me, lad. I, when I got cast in the 97 Nativity, it was the snowman. <laughs> the 97 Nativity? <laughs> I was the like- snowman? He was Gabriel's mate. He sort of... <laughs> I helped out with the directions. <laughs> I went, yeah, just... Next night, off Nazareth. <laughs> yeah. Fucking cold yeah. night in Bethlehem. <laughs> So, I didn't ask about my backstory and all that. I just fucking turned up, be a snowman. The man snowman. Well, all right. Yeah, get over there, lad. There's yeah. a fucking baby in the manger. Gabriel's mate. <laughs> Gabriel and the, and Gabriel and the, the snowman the, in the Middle East. <laughs> His future is a pool of water. Uh, on the puddle, yeah. There you go. He's lying on the floor. Like, Don't let them see any kids and they're like, fuck it, you can be a fucking star. She's got a fucking biff out of there. <laughs> I'm not being a fucking Some dirty actor. birds having a baby in a fucking barn. <laughs>